Hello, Gemini. Welcome. We're going to pick up where I left off. So, um, if you want to, you can check out the Aries and the Taurus reading that I did on Love for October 2023. So, we're going to pick up with Gemini. Oh, and thank you um, to Earthville. I'm Kat, and I'm going to do your love reading for October 2023. And this is for Gemini. And, um... Yeah, we'll probably do Gemini and Cancer on this video. So Gemini and Cancer, but for right now, let's focus on Gemini. I'm going to start off with these. I didn't with uh, Taurus and Aries, but I am because I think this will give me some extra information or a look into you guys' love life for October, okay? Remember, time is lucid, so this is something that you could have um, already went through, you're going through, or possibly go through in the future. Okay. So, but remember, free will is always at play. Always, always, always. What do you have? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Angel Guides, Ancestors of the Highest High Light, Ascendant Masters. What do you have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini in love for October 2023? And there's no telling what's going to come out with these cards because, um, yeah, I think I did these probably a year ago and, like, never used them. I just channeled the messages and didn't use them. So let's see what's going on with. Gemini in love, October 2023. Hey, we got two cards there. Oh no. Oh no. Should I? We got four. Okay, so let's see. Being around you and seeing you is super hard for me. I think that came out in Taurus's reading. Um, so you can be dealing with a Taurus. Um, it's hard to think about you with someone else. I have cried over you. And I can't do this with you anymore. Wow. <clears throat> so there's some heartbreak here, right, Gemini? So what I'm getting from this is that it's super hard for someone to be around or it's super hard for you to be around someone because of the heartbreak that they have caused you. Um, it could be due to a third party because it does say it's hard to think about you with someone else. So maybe your person is in the perception that you have someone else or if you're thinking that your, your person here, the person that you're thinking about is with someone else. And uh, they've cried over this. And um, they just can't do this with you anymore. So maybe this is something that has happened in the past with you guys. And it's just saying that they can't do this with you anymore. Jim and I, are you saying this to your person? Yeah. So being around you and seeing you is super hard. So there are still strong feelings here. When it comes to you and this individual, but yeah, there's just the feeling of I can't do this anymore, you know. I can't cry over you anymore. That's what I'm hearing. I can't cry over you anymore. And I can't think about you being with someone else. So even the thought of um, your person being with someone else is, um, it, it really bothers you. Jim and I really bothers your person here. You take it how it resonates. Remember, you can always reverse the roles. <clears throat> okay, so what do we have for Gemini? October 2023. What do we have for Gemini? Spirit. We have Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini. 
Well, something's definitely off balance here. Gemini, something's definitely off balance. Okay. And if you guys can't hear me, I'm sorry, but I did order another mic. It should be here tomorrow, so I'm excited about using that. So maybe yeah, I can start getting some views that way when people just actually start hearing me. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Mm, okay. Yeah, so someone um, could have definitely been in and out. Okay, very, uh, what, you know, wishy-washy here. Um, but full of excitement, though. Full of drive. Um, full of passion, right? They could have been wanting the, you know, uh, yeah, good in that area. Like, very pleasurable in that. But, you know, kind of like here for a good time, not a long time. So, let's see where that goes. guys get in the Halloween spirit I am <laughs> the Halloween is my favorite holiday okay overall energy Gemini is the six of cups so feeling very nostalgia feeling um, reminiscing on the past okay someone here can have very sweet memories of you in regards to the past this is someone that you have you consider a soulmate this is someone that um, yeah, you considered a soulmate. You could have had past lives with, right? Um, could have had several past lives with this person. But there there was a reason in this life that you guys came together. And, and I do feel like that has been recognized on both parts. That this was a soulmate connection. Yeah. But someone here is, is feeling... Um, Someone here has a lot of love for you, Gemini. I can I can tell you that. They do. You have the King of Cups showing up. So that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like someone here left you feeling abandoned. Lost. Left out. Blocked. Blocked out. I'm just, when I focus on this card, I mean, it really feels like this, in this depiction, if you can see, I'm kind of, kind of have the lights down low. Um, I like reading that way, but anyway, it's like, yeah, she's sad, very sad. It looks like she's really been through it, right? And you know, there's no sex in tarot, so if you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Just take it how it resonates. But, you know, this is a card depicting of being left out in the cold, right? Being abandoned, being, um, you know, just cast out, cast aside, feeling left out. But if you would look, there's a key, there's a door. This is a door. And then there's a key. And if you would just look up, okay, are you with me? <laughs> are you following? If you just look up, if she did. And I'm saying she because it looks like a she on this picture. She would see that big key that would open this big door. And it would let her in, right? It would free her from this energy. So, wow. <clears throat> Let's clarify. What's going on in the connection is someone here, um, like I said, could be you know, here for a good time. Not a long time. In and out. Very passionate, though. Very adventurous. Brings the passion. Brings the heat. But what's it for? Is that what it's all about? Is that what it's all for? It's just the passion. Just the, the male unit. The woman unit. You know? So let's see. What's this Knight of Wands? The overall energy of why this is happening. 
What is the Knight of Wands? A Sagittarius energy there. Yeah, it was a burden. It was a heavy burden. It was a. You might have felt like someone was breadcrumbing you, right? Or given to two. Because it says it's hard. It's hard to think about you with someone else. And I'm just saying that because there's two people, three people in the card. And look how he's given to one and not the other. Right? And whatever this energy is, Gemini, became a burden. This inconsistency, in and out, roller coaster ride. It was a lot to bear. And this connection. Someone's flighty ways became too much. That's what I'm getting. In your person's energy, they have the higher thought. Okay, spiritual card. Some enlightenment here on their side. I remember you can flip the rolls. But gaining some sort of enlightenment here. It can be a very traditional or just focused on traditional things right now. Um... But yes, you know, they actually could be getting some guidance, some spiritual guidance. I don't know. This is Taurus energy. So this is how they feel. Though. This is how they feel about you. So they could see you as, you know, someone that they have a commitment with or they wanted a commitment with you. They see you as someone very spiritual. Someone very knowledgeable, someone very traditional, right? Wanting the traditional things in life. Let's see. What's the hair pop? And how this person feels about Gemini. What is the hair pop? And how this person feels about Gemini. How does this person feel about Gemini? What is this? Sometimes I let them fall. Sometimes I grab. It just depends on what spirit tells me to do. Okay. So Gemini, they could want to come in. There's hope here. They could feel as though you have hope. That you have the star card. Major Arcana for uh, Aquarius. But I see there could be some communication from this person. Are they feeling as though you might could be a little irrational, right? Do do something and then think about it later. You know, the Knight of Wands, they kind of rush into something without thinking. They're just kind of like on impulse or they say something on impulse. And then, you know, they, they think about the consequences later. You, this person could be wanting to rush in and express some kind of truth to you in regards to possibly healing the connection. Because this is hopeful energy. This is healing energy. Let's see. What is this Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands? This, yeah. This person wants to rush in, Gemini, and express, they could want to tell you that they're sorry or give you some kind of message in regards to, you know, uh, emotions here. So this person does have love for you. It could be something fairly new. Um, which I'm not thinking, so I mean, it could be a new love offer, but I'm getting someone's one because of the cards that we got. At the beginning, I can't do this anymore, and it's super hard for me to be around you. Yeah, I feel like someone here wants to reconcile. Someone here wants to, um, they want to reconcile. They miss you. They, they miss the good times with you. They want to go out and have a good time. But they're also very much in the energy of wanting to, not knowing what they want to do. You know, trying to keep their balance and trying to figure out because it's like, you know, do I want to keep Gemini in the cold or do I want to reconcile? Okay. But I do feel like this person wants to come in and they want to express 
some sort of emotion. But whatever this emotion is, whatever, you know, this is, I mean, it's a page, but it is something nice, you know, something meaningful. Whatever they're wanting to express, it is the truth. The sword is upright. It is the truth. So what is this page of cups? What are they bringing to Gemini? What are they bringing to Gemini? <clears throat> yeah, they want to close this chapter out and start anew. Yeah, because they have love for you. The King of Cups. The King of Cups is someone that they have a lot of emotion. They have a lot of love. The only thing with the King of Cups is they, most of the time, they don't know how to express it. Right? They don't really wear their heart on their sleeve, let's say. And that can be difficult. Trust me, I know. My ex was a water sign. And he was very much a king of cups. <laughs> very much a king of cups. And that can be very frustrating because I'm a fire sign. And I'm very uh, passionate about the things that I do and, and or say and communicate and things like that. So, you know, it, it is very difficult. And also, if you're intuitive, right? And we all are intuitive. But, um, and, and you see this love in this person. And they still can't express it. Well... I mean, it can be aggravating. It can be very frustrating. So this person is wanting to close out a cycle. It can be a cycle of just negative energy, negative past experiences. There we go. Thank you, Spirit. Um, the Ten of Swords. Thank you. Um, a lot of backstabbing here. A lot of betrayal. A lot of lies. A lot of bad words. A lot of irrational bad behavior, even. Um, yeah. And someone's had a lot of patience when it's came to this. A lot of patience. And then the universe says, hold on, let me step in. Let me see what's going on here. Let's take a pause. All right? Let's reevaluate is what I'm hearing. So what is this world? What is this world? Mm, the Three of Swords wanted to come out. Yeah. I mean, your, your person's wounded here. They got their guard up. Gemini, they definitely have their guard up. They definitely have their guard up. But they want, I mean, the hair font's here. So I can't say they don't want something traditional and or a commitment here. Because I do see the love. I see a lot of love. Um, right here, it seems like just a little bit, right? Because, I mean... We do have wands and we have swords here <laughs> out on the table. So, but in their energy, they want to close out a cycle. They want to close out a cycle, start anew. This person could be very distant and or distant from you at this time. Um, I feel like it's both. I feel like it's emotional and I feel like it's also physical distance. But... There is a, a chapter here closing out. Probably a, a, a cycle here. And it's been very difficult to close out the cycle. I feel like this person just is hard for them to let their guard down. But this also is a card of, yeah, I've been through a lot. I'm wounded. I mean, I've been through the battle. But I'm still standing. And I'm ready to give this one last try. One last try, right? Possibly. Don't know. Yeah. Let me give this one last try. I feel like Jim and I might be something or someone. Not something. Someone I can fight for. But how am I going to do it? That's what I'm hearing. But how am I going to do it? Okay. And your feelings, Jim and I, you have the judgment. So you're making a big decision here, Jim and I. You're making a big decision. You could want a second chance with this individual, but it's hard, right? Because somebody here feels like, I can't do this anymore. But can you? Yes. Your person feels like they've been through a lot with this connection. They do. 
but they want to close out a cycle here. They want to close out a cycle. And you're over here needing to make a huge decision. Or give this person a second chance. Let's find out. What is the judgment here for Gemini? What's the judgment here for Gemini? The hermit. Yeah, you have no idea. You're trying to gain some wisdom. You're going within. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but you don't have to be. Gemini, you are going within. And this is like the universe is saying, listen, listen. Go within. Because, yeah, you've been through it here. You have been through something here. This flighty in and out energy has caused a lot of burdens, a lot of, I mean, you're still going, though. Your person's still going. Y'all have not gave up yet. I don't care what y'all are telling each other. These are not cards of people giving up. No. No. It's not. The spirit's like, go within, though. Go within. You got to figure something out. You've got to learn some lessons here. Because you don't want to repeat the same cycle. You don't. You might. Just maybe. You do want to close this cycle out. But you might want to close it out for good, Gemini. What's this? Hermit. You're going within. I don't think you're speaking much. Oh, yeah. There's going to be truth spoken. You're speaking your truth. Gemini, you are speaking your truth. The Ace of Swords with the Fool. You're definitely speaking your truth here to someone, to your person. Because this is like, I went within. Thank you, Spirit. I went within. And I know I've got to make a decision. I know I've got to make a decision. And that lantern, you're showing me. Thank you. So you're, you, Spirit has awoken you to something. You have called out to spirit and spirit has answered. You have went within. You have soul searched. And now you're going to speak the truth. And the truth is, I'm going to go by faith. You're either going to have a new start with someone else, with yourself. But the truth is being spoken here is, hey, listen, I want a new beginning with you. I want to start this over. But I'm also getting the impression that it's like you're speaking as though I'm starting over. And it just might not, just maybe, might not be with you. But you're speaking the truth here. There's some truth coming out about a new beginning. There's just some truth coming out here about a new beginning. And it's, a, and it's the truth about starting over. I mean, that's what the full card is. It's like I'm trusting in the divine, and I'm just starting over. I'm starting from scratch. I'm going for what it is that I want. Yeah, and you're going to have a victory in doing this. I mean, you are. Spirit is saying you are. So what's blocking this connection? Wow, Gemini, that's very powerful. You're making a decision to speak your truth about starting over. And, you know, starting over is not easy. It's not easy. Right? But you're following by faith, and that's what I love. You're following by faith. And it, it could be with this connection or not, you know? You could have someone else, Gemini, or your person. But you're saying... It's okay. I see clearly. No matter what, I'm going to have this new beginning because I went within. Or, you know, there could be some Geminis out there that's going to give this person a second chance because I do feel like they're going to come back even though they're, the, you know, their uh, wall is up, right? Their guard is up. And then they could come back rather quickly from what I'm seeing. 
but you're going to speak the truth here. You know, um, you could give this person a second chance. You could, have, you know, go within in the month of October and decide, hey, I'm going to give this person a second chance if that's what they want. But you're going to be clear in, in your intentions and you guys can start over. What's blocking this connection is the Nine of Swords. So sleepless nights, worries, anxiety, you know, um, yeah. Worries, sleepless nights, anxieties, depression, sadness. Something's going to move quickly, though, in this connection in the month of October. Gemini, something's going to move quickly. What is this Nine of Swords that's blocking this connection? Yeah, somebody walked away. Someone has disconnected. And it's really put someone in their feels. Yeah. The lovers. Someone could have walked away from a very powerful, divinely connection here. Or they could have walked away to be in, an, in another connection. Somebody walked away here, but this was, I uh, see the angel above, above them, kind of guiding them. Someone here is definitely in their head about having a, a passionate new beginning, right? Coming back passionately, sharing those desires. This is a lot of desires. Um, just, you know, just that good good, good attraction and that want and desire for one another. And someone's definitely in their head, Gemini, about having a passionate new beginning. So there's patience here. And someone's definitely thinking about the passion that you guys shared. Absolutely. Thinking about the passion that you guys shared. Yeah. Yeah. But someone's walked away from it. Someone's disconnected from it. But I'm going back to this. It's hard to be around you. And I can't do this anymore. And, um, you know, I have cried over you. And it's um, hard to think about you with someone else. You know, the lovers can also mean the choice between... Love or someone could have walked away from you, Gemini, or you could have walked away from someone because you had a choice in love here. But if I wanted to look at it a different way, Gemini, it kind of looks like there's someone here that has sleepless nights, worries, and anxiety because you are definitely on their mind. And um, you definitely are, and you want a new passionate beginning with them. You miss... You miss the love making for sure with them. You sure do. Or they do you. All right. <clears throat> so possible outcome. Well, not, well no, we're not there yet. Um, their next move and or action is the Nine of Wands. Go figure. Right? Because that was what was in their energy. So being very blind, very guarded still. But, you know... This person don't look as wounded. That's the right way. I mean, it's a little different here. You know, this one really looks a little banged up there. It's a little more calmer, but still, yeah, the guard is up. The guard is up. Suspicion. I'm hearing suspicion. Okay, so this is nine of ones. Their next actions and or moves towards Gemini. What do we have? What do we have? For Gemini. Their next actions. What is their person's next actions in October for Gemini? What's this nine and one spirit? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna reach out. Mm -hmm. Even though they're wounded, even though their wall is up, even though they're skeptical, even though they're unsure, they're gonna reach out. 
and they're going to want a new beginning. Okay, they're going to have some optimism here. It could be even a little flirty. Yeah, they're wanting to smooth things over here. You know, move to calmer waters. Yeah, you're definitely going to be hearing from this person in the month of October. But now the outcome is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands making a decision. What is this about? The outcome of this connection in the month of October 2023. So when this person comes in, you're going to have to make a decision because someone here, it says, I can't do this anymore. Someone here was flighty in the past, right? There's a lot. Of, we've seen the Ten of Swords. We've seen irrational behavior. We've seen a uh, low-level communication. I don't know if you want to call it low-level, but, you know, it's just a little bit of communication. I mean, it's not like someone's coming in and pouring out their hearts, you know. And, um, yeah, there could have been, like, a third party. And I don't know if that's another person or if they just put, you know, something else before your connection and then that will ruin the connection or whatever. But, yeah, there is definitely a decision here possibly about giving someone a second chance about starting over. Right, Gemini? You're going to have to make a decision. But you, you're going to do the, the work. You're going to go within. And you're going to find out. You're going to try to make out the best decision for you, right? Yeah. Because it's something that you've been waiting on or your person's been waiting on. They're, you know, possibly waiting on the right time, waiting for things to kind of blow over. And they're going to send you this text. Even though their guard is up, they still feel like there could be one last chance, right? Gemini, I do. So what is this decision? What is this decision? What is the two of wands? Booyah! The queen of wands, Aries. Look, more worry, more anxiety. Let's stop this. Uh, please, uh, with the anxiety and the stress and the sleepless nights. I know. Easier said than done. Yeah, because there's been a lot of heartache. Man, there's been a lot of heartache in this connection, Gemini. This is rough stuff. Yeah, you're going to have to use your intuition. Yeah. Just try to keep your balance in it all. You know, uh... Yeah, because there, I mean, there's definitely been an ending here. I don't feel like you and this person are communicating at all. If any, not much. There's a decision here. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's definitely, this decision's gonna put, this is gonna put you in your head, Gemini. It's gonna put you in your head. It's gonna put you, this person in their head, both of you in, their, in your head. So, I mean, Nine of Swords here, twice. So what is this Queen of Wands in the decision? You've made a decision. Someone here's made a decision. So we'll see what is it, the overall outcome for a Gemini and their person for October. Hmm. Slow. Take it slow, Gemini. I feel like you do have someone coming in and they're going to want to take it slow and or this is you, but you want to take it slow. There is a soulmate connection here. We've seen that at the beginning of your read. Some of you can have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart or you could be dealing with one, but this person is really sad or you're really sad over this person. But, you know, what's crazy is whenever I'm spinning all the cards, you know, the Five of Cups is sadness, heartaches, disappointments, like mourning, missing someone. Someone here is missing someone tremendously. Look, and it's almost like I've made my decision. I know what it is that I want. Because you have two wands here, but she's only grabbing on to one. And she's looking out the window like she's waiting. Right, so it's like I've grabbed the one I want. Now I'm just waiting for them. And then you had the three. 
and your person's movements towards you, the Three of Wands down here. And that's also a card of waiting, waiting for your ships to arrive, right? So it's almost like she's waiting for her ships to arrive as well. But this is mourning and loss and sadness and grief. And that's what they're focused on right here is the Three of Cups that spilled over. And they're not noticing the Two of Cups. And I know a lot of readers do this. They point this out, but it's so true. The Two of Cups, if you turn around, the, the connection that is still there is still standing. Okay, all you have to do is turn around. And then this came out. The Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. So the overall outcome is a soulmate connection. Two people getting on the same page, making a decision to go after what it is that you want. Because the Queen of Wands, they go after what it is that they want. There's no, you know, if you're dealing with the, the Queen of Wands type of energy, there's no second guessing if she's interested. There's no second guessing and if you are their choice, if you are not their choice. She will let you know. She has no problems with letting you know what it is that she wants and or what is she is feeling. And what is happening here is sadness. Because of the Two of Cups. And it can go two ways and I feel like it's up to you. Gemini to what it is that you want. Are you going to stay in this energy? Or are you going to look behind you? And possibly just take things slow, you know. The Knight of Pentacles, he's a slow moving knight, but when he, you know, when he finally gets to where he's getting, he knows exactly what he wants and it's stable and it's, a, and it's something true, something tangible, something valid. So, yeah, Gemini, that's what I have for you. Wow, that was intense. That was really intense. Really intense. Let's see what's going on. I think my granddaughter gave me her cough. Someone take just a little sip of my Pepsi. Then I'll start coughing. <laughs> and then we are going to go to Cancer. I got one of those microphones that like hook on your shirt or whatever, but I mean, you can really hear people breathing and stuff with that. And so I don't know about that because when I read, I kind of like, I guess it's the energy or whatever. And then and the fact that you're just trying to get all the messages out that you can possibly get. And yeah, like you have to take deep breaths, right? It takes your breath. So, yeah, when I do get that, y'all just don't have to deal with me on that because it's going to be a lot of deep breaths. A lot of deep breaths, right? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, what do we have for Cancer? Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Divines, Ancestors, and the Highest White Line. I love you guys. Ascended Masters, what do we have for Cancer? For cancer for October 2023 in love. What do we have for cancer? Oh, I wanted to come out. I don't want to be just friends, cancer. What else do we have for cancer? What else do we have for cancer in October 2023? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want to be just friends. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what this means, man. Because these are pretty powerful. But I just looked at the bottom of the deck. And it says you won't get another chance. Okay, wow. <laughs> you won't get another chance. And I cannot do this with you anymore. Jeez, let me, let me, I'm going to have to do one more for 
Cancer, October 2023. October 2023. So you got somebody here that wants to be more than just friends. And somebody here that wants to spend the rest of their life with you. Or you do then. Take it how it applies. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Cancer. Leaving you for someone else was a mistake. Leaving you for someone else was a mistake. Aw, this is pretty sweet. The bottom of the deck, I just wanted you to love me and me love you back. So that's all anybody wanted from you, Cancer. Wow. So was the love not reciprocated? Was it not um, two, di two different levels of love here, Cancer? You got someone here that wants to spend the rest of their life with you. They don't want to just be friends. You could have friends on someone. That's not what they wanted. So then they left you for someone else. And that was a mistake. And I feel like it was a mistake because they still have love for you. All they wanted you to do was love them. And that's all you wanted this person to do is love you. And you love them back. I think that's a sweet message. All right. Let's see Cancer. What's going on with Cancer October 2023? What's going on with Cancer and love October 2023? That's sweet feelings right there. I like that. We have for Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, you have temperance. So you guys just kind of being divinely guided, right? At this time, being divinely guided. Trusting in your angels to guide you. And hearing wherever the chips may fall. Yeah, someone here, you guys are going through a lot of, uh, you're uh, ending to a rebirth. So could have been a definite ending here. Miss an ending to start something new, okay? All right. So having a lot of patience here in this connection. But your overall energy while we're here for the connect while we're here for this reading is the Ten of Cups. So ultimate happiness, right? I believe you are someone's ultimate happiness um yeah I don't want to be just friends and I want you I want to spend the rest of my life with you because you were someone's ten of cups or in the connection when y'all are together when y'all were together it was you were emotionally fulfilled in this connection you deemed this person as family. You know, they felt like home. It was loving. Right? Let's clarify. What is this Ten of Cups for Cancer's connection? What is this Ten of Cups? Did you lose a friend, Cancer?
Because the Three of Cups, there definitely could have been a, a third party here, right? Definitely could have been a third party. We got Three of Cups here. And then we have the Five of Pentacles, so lack, loss, abandonment. In this coming together, it could be a friendship, you know, circle here. But abandoning this. Let me get one more. What is this? No, five. Five of swords. So, Cancer, there was a lot of uh, mind games, right? In this connection. a lot of mind games, arguments. There could have been just a big misunderstanding too is what I'm getting because you have the five of pentacles and the five of swords. I'm getting like a big misunderstanding. Could be in regards to a third party. You could have moved towards something here or someone could have moved towards something that they thought was going to make them happy and it ended up not making them happy. Um, because it does say leaving you for someone else was a mistake. Yeah, someone here was left out in the cold. Someone here was abandoned. Someone here was abandoned. And that, you know... I don't know. That's just really sad because, you know, I do feel like you were someone's wish. Like you made someone happy or they made you happy. Hmm. Okay. So, Cancer. And your person's feelings, they have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, in your person's energy, they have the Three of Pentacles. What is this about? They could want to work on this connection with you, right? Come together, collaborate. Yeah, the hangman. So not much being done on this person's part. They could be gaining, trying to gain a new perspective on a new beginning, right? Take a leap of faith, start over, things like that. Um, <clears throat> And they could want to work with you on this. They could have gained... Like I said, a different perspective. Like have an aha moment. Like, hey, I want to work things out with cancer. Um, but I'm just going to kind of chill here and see if that's really what I want to do. Yeah. I just want to kind of take it all in. Yeah. Before we start over. What's that hanged man? I don't think much action is coming from your person. I think they're just kind of, yeah, trying to gain a different perspective on this. Well, yeah. But they really do think of you as, your, as their person. I mean, it's right here. Like, they look at you as a soulmate connection, past life, you know. You, you guys have history together. Um, past life history, even. You guys have probably met, been together in other lives other than this one. But just trying to gain a different perspective because they really want to work with you on this connection because they're, they, they have all these sweet memories with you. Like they do, yeah. They want to work with you. They want an equal give and take. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I just wanted you to love me and me love you back. <sighs> wow. Yeah, they want to heal things. They do. They want to heal things. They have hope. They could even be praying. 
All right, Cancer, in your energy, you have the Queen of Wands. So very, like, male or female, it doesn't matter. But I just looked, um, but we will get there. But as a whole, we have the King and the Queen of Wands out here. So the King and Queen of Wands, I mean, together as a couple, they just can't stay away from each other. Not for long. Because, mm -mm. yeah, when they get together... I mean, come on, you got to think that, you know, the king and queen of wands, I mean, it's fire, it's passion, it's, um, you know, they, both of them are, are energies of, uh, they go after what it is that they want, you know, um, and if both of y'all, if y'all are looking at each other and both of y'all is what y'all want, then, yeah, just imagine, you know, I don't think I have to go any further on that. It's a very, very, uh, alluring couple but cancer in your energy you're seeming happy and you know attractive nowadays right and feeling good within yourself you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius we also have Pisces out here we have um yeah cancers Pisces Scorpio but then we have again Aries Leo Sagittarius Sagittarius and Scorpio is the one to peek out there Okay, but in your energy, yeah, going after what it is that you want, looking good, smelling good, taking care of business, getting a lot of attention possibly. What is the Queen of Wands? You have the Three of Pentacles too and your person has the Three of Pentacles. So you both want to work on things. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. A message could possibly come in, in be coming in. You could want to send someone a message, to, and maybe even a, an apology, but this is an expression of an emotion, right? This is sweet text, message, or phone call, whatever it is that you do. Yeah, because there's something here that you want to hold on to, Cancer. And what it is that you want to hold on to is a victory. And a victory and a passionate new beginning with, and we've seen it on your person's side, an equal give and take. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. And look, we have the Six of Wands right here. And what's blocking, what's the challenge is the Six of Wands. So we're going to dig into that. Someone here is holding back. Holding back and holding on. The cancer, you, I mean, there's a new beginning and passion here with your person. Because this is your feelings towards your person. You want to work with them too. They want to work with you. I mean, it's right there. Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Their side, your side. I can't make it up. So they're trying to figure out, like, how can we work this out? How can we come together? Because I know that, that Cancer is my person and we have this history and these memories together. And you're over here... I want to go after my person here. I want to work with my person. What's the Three of Pentacles? What's the Three of Pentacles? Yes. Oh my gosh. You guys. I mean, I was really having the sweet energy because I'm really getting a, a sweet, sweet energy. I, I was really hoping this was not going to turn negative. Like it sometimes, and it's still, we still got a few more cards to clarify, but the, there's, there's hope here, right? The star card. There is hope here, Cancer. You have hope for this connection. You have hope. You're still going to be logical about it, right? You're still going to, you know, think about it. You could very well want to communicate this with this person. Um, 
be careful with how you communicate though so it doesn't really maybe come off so cold I mean but if that's how you normally communicate then you know by all means be yourself you want to speak some kind of truth here yeah because someone here you want a new beginning you want a new beginning and it definitely could be with a fire sign or you have strong fire in your chart I feel like you both want this new beginning y'all both want to start over that's what I'm getting. You both want to start over after some heartaches and, um, and feeling abandoned and left out and, you know, and probably some fights here, arguments. But Cancer, you want to come together, you want to work with this person because you still have hope that this thing could, yeah, bring some stability to the situation. You still have hope that this can work out. But what's blocking you is a six of wands. So why is this? Someone could be very arrogant, okay? Someone could be um, very, like, I'm um, hearing boastful. Um, someone could be getting a lot of attention, to. That could be what's blocking. What is the six of wands? That's the blockage. Yeah, impulsive behavior. Cold communication, even. Erash communication. Um... It's kind of like just saying what you want to say without really thinking about it and then thinking about the consequences later. Or like swift, swift action, right? Um, making like a decision to cut someone out, okay? To, to possibly ghost them, leave them, abandon them, you know, and um, thinking about it later. Like, you know, should I have done that? Because I really do feel like this person loved me. I mean, this person was my friend. This person wanted to spend the rest of their life with me, and all they wanted me to do was love them. And they, and it's not like they just wanted you to love them, Cancer. And like I said, y'all can reverse the roles, okay? So don't be getting angry. But they not only wanted you to love them, they wanted to love you too. So there's like no, there wasn't even anything selfish about this. But there was a victory here. And, and a swift action. What's this? The Knight of Swords. Someone came in abruptly. And possibly just cut it out. Right? Cut it out. Someone could have got their ego hurt. Right? And they just decided to cut this person out without even knowing. Because I said there, there possibly was a misunderstanding here. Miscommunication. Yeah, someone here is manifesting a victory. Someone here was very uh, the blockage is cutting out a victory here something that you or your person was manifesting is this something that you wanted to do an equal give and take here it's kind of like a bit like something going good perhaps and then it was just Someone here could have been getting a lot of attention, yeah. That was, a, and a, that was a, an abrupt decision to end something. Yeah, this could have been someone that you were with for a long time, right? Um, this person, yeah, they were looking long term. They did want to spend the rest of their life with you, Cancer. Or you wanted to spend the rest of your life with them. Yeah, that was definitely love here. Did someone cut this out because of new love? If they did, leaving you was a mistake. So what's blocking this connection is just a history of 
betrayal and backstabbing and harsh words and possibly fights and uh, being left out in the cold. Power struggle. I'm getting a power struggle here between two people. Both of you could have um, gotten your ego bruised and started playing some mind games here. No. Wow. I don't know. Cancer. Wow. Wow. This is deep too. I thought Gemini's was intense. This is intense. <clears throat> this is intense. Okay, so you have the King of Wands. So this is your person's um, next actions towards you. So the King of Wands, whenever they see something that they want, they go after it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it can be any sign. We have Aquarius here. We have Gemini, like I said, Sagittarius, Scorpio was peeking out. But the King of Wands, I mean, come on, look. Even the lion's checking them out, you know what I mean? Like, wow. But the King of Wands, they're very charismatic. They're very charming. They do go after what they want. And nine times out of ten, I would say that they get what they want. Okay? Because of their charm. Because of just who they are. It came in the world with them, right? So, um, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's just, just someone that embodies that energy. So you have the King of Wands for their next action. What is this? For the month of October for Cancer. Ooh. Yeah, okay, Cancer. So someone here, um, yeah. They're deciding to kind of reach out and extend an olive branch here to have a new beginning and stability and or gift you something here. Yeah, but they want a new beginning. But they want a new beginning and it be stable. Someone here has emotionally detached, though, and or walked away. Mm -hmm. But their intentions, their next move towards you is to send you a text or call you or whatever to, um, you know, in hopes maybe that this could start something um, stable between you guys. Now, whether that be in love, romance, whatever, just, again, wanting to be your friend, I don't know. But it, this is something tangible. This is something in the 3D, right? It is something you can taste, hold, feel, etc. It's a new beginning. But now the overall outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. So let's see what that is for the overall outcome for this connection for October 2023. What is this Eight of Pentacles? Clarify that. Clarify that. The Four of Pentacles. Wow. So overall energy for the for the outcome. Of this connection for the month of October. Something's going to be made fair. Yeah. And it's going to bring happiness. So I do see you guys deciding to work on things, right? To hold on to one another. And to work things out. And work on what is fair and what is just and making a fair and a just decision on working on this connection and holding on to it. And it's going to make you really happy. It is. It's like, it's like someone here or you guys are going to get some kind of clarity. Something here is going to be illuminated on what is right and what is fair. Okay, and you guys are going to work on that. Yeah. Some stability coming in. 
some um, being grounded in your decision. And um, yeah, just pushing forward. I do. I feel like it's possible that you guys could possibly work things out if you wanted to. Of course, we all have free will, but I'm going to tell you, Cancer, there's some sweet feelings here. There is, and you can make up what we've seen within the cards. And I feel like you and your person are mirroring each other, too. And I feel like both of y'all have really big egos, <laughs> right? And I mean, I get it. Um, I'm an Aries. I am. I get it. You know, we can, we can, our egos can be, you know, we can be big. But, um, and, but y'all are both, um, mirroring each other and uh y'all both want the same thing so hopefully it, it just is a thing you know um of course free will and you do use your discernment and uh you know go with that but um you know this person they don't want to be just friends and they don't they they want to spend the rest of their life with you and that we did see um the cards did validate that and um, if, you know, there was leaving you for someone else, and, you know, they regret it, it was a mistake. But I really didn't get a lot of third party, really didn't get a lot of that. So I think maybe that could have been a misunderstanding, I don't know. Um, but definitely that's what, it, you know, the fights and the conflicts could have been about and, and the abandonment, right, and being left out in the cold. But really, at the end of the day, Cancer, all they wanted was for you to love them and for them to be able to love you back. So that's actually beautiful. Um, yeah, so I love reading for you guys and I will see you next time. And um, I think the next one's up will be um, Leo and Virgo. So uh, yeah, and be sure to check out your Aries and Taurus too if you want to. And um, yeah, stay tuned for uh, Virgo and uh, Leo. Right. See you later. Bye.